a sudden I hear pounding on the house and it's hail time. Okay, so I was going to share with you my latest little project as I convert everything to power poles. If you don't know what power poles are, they're an easy way to connect sort of a universal way so you don't have to change power cords. You can just swap this in and out. And here's what they look like in raw form. Power poles. So my latest project is a solar charge controller. So what this does is it keeps your battery from overcharging when you use like a solar panel. And so there's three outputs inputs. There's the solar panel, the battery, and then the load, the thing that you're using. So I have this, and I did a video on this, all powers solar panel, which I need to put a power pole on, but I haven't done that yet. So what I've done here is I went ahead and tinned these wires that I cut. And I'm going to put these inside and then you screw them down like this. And it, it, I actually wanted to put a nicer end on this, but I didn't have one that would fit in the little tiny hole in there. So what it is is you unscrew it and it opens up a little port. Probably hard to see, but this one that I just opened, sorry, this one is open and ready for business. So when I take one of these and I tend it, now it won't, and I, I did a bad job on this, I know, but it was really hard to get that hot because it's so thick on my soldering iron. Anyway, this will go inside and then you clamp it down. I'm gonna put power poles on this side so I can easily plug in and out. And then, this is a little camera battery battery for like one of those outdoor cameras you know one of those uh, wildlife cameras that take picture of deer and all this is a battery for that called the stealth cam battery and so there's just a little battery inside of it you know no big deal right this is a little battery for QRP so what I did was for this battery I cut the end off and then I put a power pole on it, and it looks ugly because I put uh, electrical tape around it, but it's actually really solid in there. And I did that just for strain relief, just in case, you know. So, this will plug in, and I already tested it. You have to test to make sure you got your positive and negative. I tested it. It works great. Um, to recharge this, it comes with its own charger. This thing will recharge the battery. That's just what it came with but then I converted it to power pole. So this would go in my battery power pole right here. See? Solar panel. Everything's power pole. That's what I'm doing and that's what I just thought I'd share this with you. So let's finish this up and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I had to add this shrink wrap stuff right here. If you see it, I had to add that because I had placed it in here to hold it for me and these things are so strong that it actually cut into the insulation. So I added a little shrink wrap there to make just to make sure. Um, that's a little safety tip for you. The other safety tip, I would wear glasses anytime you solder safety glasses because I heard this guy at work told me that he had a, a fleck once fly into his eye or his eyelid. And twice I had my hand get burned because a little fleck came off while I was soldering, while I was tinning these things, which I, I had a really hard time tinning them because the wire is so thick. I don't like how they look, but they are, they are staying in here pretty good. This is, by the way, this is the All Powers Solar Charger, and it has two USB ports, which is pretty cool. So 12 volts will give you, uh, you can charge your phone up or whatever USB probably 5 volts come out of that it's got this little plate here for mounting also but I'm gonna use it for QRP radio um, let me get this in they'll finish up now is 
the time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see it through your disguise Lay it down, hope for something better Looking at the clouds, the sun Okay, so now I have all power poles and I should be able to plug in my battery to battery, which I'll do that now. Hang on. There. So I've got battery to battery, 13 volts. Now, radio. To load. Sorry, I have to put the camera down to do this. Okay. Now I've got battery and charge controller and radio. Let's see. Radio comes on. Um, it's using this battery right now. Everything works. Power poles. Next thing to do which I haven't done yet. I need to f make sure I'm, I don't screw it up, but power pole to the solar charger, and then I'm done. Power poles, man, make your life easier. Can't stop it.